Hey guys, welcome back. My name is Ali. If you're new to my channel, and welcome to Beauty with a Purpose. If you are new to my channel, my name is Ali. I upload four videos a week beauty, Bible, and lifestyle. So if any of those interest you, Please go ahead and hit that subscribe button and let's get into today's video. So for today's video, you guys, I will be recreating this look right here. It was sent to me by Rick, by Victoria, who is at Rare Beauty Envy here on YouTube. Her channel will be linked down below. And <clears throat> she sent me a grip of them, but Brian chose this look. So that is the one that I'm going to be recreating, I think, because he knows my favorite color is purple. That's why he chose that look. I don't know, but we are going to go ahead and get into this look, um, you know, just chat a little bit. So, of course, we are going to go ahead and start with primers. I'm going to go ahead and go in with this calming facial prime and setting mist. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to go in with is this No Problem Prime Essence. We're just going to apply it this one at first. The next thing I'll be going in with is the e.l.f. Jelly Pop Primer. Y'all, I really do love this primer. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go in with one more primer today just because I want to see how this really, truly works. And that is the Becca Back Light, Back Light Priming Filter. So starting off with brows, we're going to go in with the Profusion Good Day Brow Brow Pencil. And like I said, I have mine in the shade Soft Black. I have not stopped using this since my first impressions video, which I filmed that on October 2nd. Today's October 19th. Okay, for brow pomade, I have not been able to stop putting this down this month either. So this is actually the e.l.f. Um, liner and brow cream, I believe it's called, something like that. I have mine in the shade medium brown. We are going to go ahead and use our Pro Fusion Angled Eyebrow Brush. This is their EB1. We're just going to use that to fill in our brows. If you're watching this and you're one of my friends who is a smaller YouTuber, like less than a thousand subscribers, at what point did you start getting like trolling comments? Like, like people just being mean for no reason. So for whatever reason, so my first ever mean comment was like back when I was like literally like 10 subscribers. And it was like whenever Brian did my makeup. If you haven't checked that out, check it out. It's a very old video. Like back when I first started my channel, old video. It's hilarious. And um, anyways, and somebody commented on there and was like, Stevie Wonder could tell that this guy is gay. And I was like, he's married. He's my husband. I'm like, okay. Like people just being mean for no reason. So I was like, okay. But I had not received a comment like that. Like, people attack my Bible teachings all the time. I don't care. Like, you can argue with me. You're going to be arguing with the Word of God. Like, that doesn't bother me. But, oh, my gosh, you guys. Like, my Shein haul, like, blew up, you guys. Like, blew up. Like, there's almost 18,000, like, 17,000 views on that um video. So, anyways, that video blew all the way up. And... Not until last week did like I had I gotten a mean comment like all the comments had been like really sweet and like you know <laughs> but this one person hold on y'all I really need to get today's video live okay so anyways a couple of days ago I got like my first really mean comment on that video <laughs> and somebody was like uh you dress like a fat 12 year old <laughs> like, what like my like my flesh wanted to say mean things and i showed brian the comment and he was like a soft answer turns away wrath and i was like 
you show right. Check me because she was about to get checked. But anyways, you guys, it was just like, I don't know why it was so funny to me. Like it just was because I'm just like, it's very clear that I'm a 27 year old woman. Like, first of all, you don't even have a real name as your username, CC. Second of all, you don't even have a picture to show what you look like while you're out here talking about other people. Anyways, I deleted the comment, didn't post it, didn't comment, didn't respond, just deleted it. And for whatever reason, I was going through comments on that video again last night. And I seen that she had commented again and was like, you have the ugliest taste in clothes. And I was like, okay, everybody's entitled to their own opinion. Like, doesn't bother me, but I'm just like, why do people do that? Like. How miserable do you have to be in life to just pick and bully on others? People you don't even know. People who aren't even doing anything to you. You could probably tell from my thumbnail that you weren't gonna like my vibe. So why did you even click on the video? Like, I don't get that. If you truly don't like somebody, why watch their videos? Right. So I'm gonna take the Mimosa palette first, you guys. And I'm gonna set that concealer down with We Love Brunch. And second thing, if you ever feel the need to comment on my video and tell me I'm fat, don't. I know I'm fat. You ain't gotta tell me. It's not gonna bother me if you call me fat. I grew up during a time where bullying was not done cyberly. It was done to your face. So, <laughs> calling me fat does not bother me. You ain't gotta tell me something that I know about myself. I live with myself. I feed myself. I know this. Okay, so. Going back in with the Mimosa palette, I'm going to take Saluti or Saluti, Saluti. I really want to say that that's Saluti. Going in with this shade right here. I feel like she had more pink, but I'm going to do it way more purpley. Unless I need to add the pink in. remember when the thing to do on Facebook was have like ridiculous names because I'm sitting here thinking and the look that I'm recreating is my friend Raquel Borrego's and that's her YouTube name like Raquel Borrego like that's her YouTube name and then you have me who's like beauty with a purpose instead of like why couldn't I just title it Ally McKithen but God gave me that name, so I'm not gonna argue with it, but it reminded me of whenever the thing to do on Facebook would be like, oh, Allie's thick with it, thin waist, thick hips, McKissa is like. <laughs> did y'all have any friends who did that? Like, <laughs> how embarrassing. Anyways, my Facebook name was never anything like this. My Facebook name was always Allie Nicole, which is my middle name. I just thought it was, like, I don't know what made me think. I don't know, y'all. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I'm hilarious. <laughs> Allie, thick, waist, slim face, or what? Thick, thick, slim, waist, cute face, whatever. Anyways, I'm going in with the BH Cosmetics Midnight Festival palette, and I'm going in with this shade right here, which is called Dance. Now when I swatched it, it appeared to be just slightly darker than Salutai, but we shall see. This dance shade is definitely more pigmented than Salutai because it builds up super fast. So what I am gonna end up doing is I am gonna go in a little bit with the pink. So I think I'll take this raspberry shade and I'm gonna apply that where I applied Salutai just a little bit and very lightly. Okay, now going in with this shade right here called Techno.
All right, y'all, so this part is going to be a little bit risque, but I wanna deepen up that purple just a little bit. So I'm going to mix techno with nocturnal, just a little bit of nocturnal, not a lot. I feel like mine went way deeper than hers real quick. My left eye always blends better. Like I always get it blended better than my right eye. Maybe because I start with my right eye. You know, like you've perfected the skill by the time you get to the left eye and know what to do. Okay, uh, so the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go in with my finger with this shade right here called Euphoria. And I'm gonna tap that just on the center. I'm not gonna cut my crease or anything because I felt like hers wasn't super like structured. So I don't wanna make mine super structured even though I already went way out with like deepening up the purple. So now I'm going to take this shade right here called Firework, which is a suppressed glitter. And I'm going to apply that right over the top because hers was super glittery. Not so much iridescent, but glittery. So I'm going to tap that right over where we put that purple. I'm going to go in and coat my lashes with this stylist, the Essence Volume Stylist Lash Extension Mascara. And then I'm going to apply these lashes that my bestie boo gave me. And these are in the style E3. Don't know where she got them from y'all, so. Oh, I know she gave them to me, but Raquel always does the most prettiest, most dramatic lashes that personally on me, like I'm just like, do you boo? Cause I can't do it. Like I just can't do those lashes. So this is the most dramatic that we're gonna get. And that's what I'm gonna apply. And then we will be right back. Lashes are on and these are, these are some big lashes y'all. This is definitely out of my comfort zone. So anyway, as you guys saw in my haul, I ended up getting these free samples from Ulta. So this one is actually too light. This one is way too dark. So I couldn't really text the formula on this one, but I do remember that this one was a little bit too drying on my skin. So we're gonna try a different technique. We are gonna go ahead and mix these. Cause like I said, that is too light for your girl. We are going to add in some of it. Because this Lancome one went in long, went on a really good color like you can tell like like that'd be a good color for me but the issue was that it 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 turned straight up oompa loompa orange on me like straight up oompa loompa orange you can tell on parts where it's not mixed all the way how dark that land comb one, that land comb one is getting. Mommy. So the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this NYX Born to Glow Concealer. This will barely be my second time using this. I can't find what shade, oh, vanilla. I got the shade vanilla. Okay, so we are definitely gonna go in with a cream bronzer and a cream blush. So I'm going in with my Yensa Sun Lit Glow Silk Base Bronzer using the little brush it comes with.
Y'all, I love this bronzer because I could just keep applying it and keep applying it and keep applying it and it'll never be too much. And it's so creamy, so easy to use. So now I'm going to be taking this, this Wet n Wild Floral Majority Cream Blush. I'm just going to take it on my Alamar Cosmetics Blush. Brush. Oh, that's pretty. Mm. Okay, now to set everything down, I'm gonna use this Makeup Revolution Luxury Powder in the shade Lace. Next thing is we are gonna go ahead and finish up our lower lash line before we go into any more makeup. So I'm gonna go with Faye Bryson. So I'm gonna go into my LA Girl Shockwave Liner and I'm just going to apply that to my waterline. And since we added that to um, the purple to the waterline, I'm gonna go back in with the Mimosa palette and I'm gonna take Salutite and mix that with Dance and apply that to the lower lash line. Okay, I really wanna add a little bit of raspberry just to get some of that pink along the lower lash line as well. Going to apply some mascara Phew. and then i feel like the inner corner of her eyes had like a little bit of a blue tint to it so i am just going to use that same euphoria shade and add it into my inner corner but i am going to do that without like the glitter all right you guys we're almost done so let's go ahead and we're gonna go ahead and bronze so I'm gonna go in with my Morphe 8L palette and I'm just going to be mixing it these two shades and applying that to my cheeks. Next, I'm taking my Essence The Blush blush and I'm just going to apply those, apply that to my cheekbones. I'm going to mix this one and this one and apply it to my cheeks. Okay, now we're gonna go ahead and set our brows real quick. Okay, so for lips, I am gonna take this, um, this Milani pencil in the shade Nude Entrance. Nude entrance, entrance, entrance. I don't know. So now I'm going to take this Mana lipstick, lip whip in the shade Faith. And last but not least, taking this Profusion lipstick in the shade Matte Dream. All right, you guys, we are almost finished. <sighs> last but not least, let's go ahead and set all of this down. guys this is the completed look i hope that you guys enjoyed this video how did i do here's a picture just for a reminder now i know that i went a little bit deeper and darker than she did i know it's not an exact replica like i don't feel like i nailed it like i've nailed other looks but it was fun having inspiration from her i love her channel check her out check out victoria's channel and i will see you guys um let me know or always send me you guys can follow me on Snapchat. I did reactivate my Snapchat. So you guys can always follow me on Snapchat. It's a beauty and Bible there too. Or, you know, on Instagram, like just send me looks that you would like to see me recreate. It could be from Pinterest. It could be from Instagram. Just send me looks. So yeah, if you guys enjoyed this video, 
please go ahead and give me a thumbs up. Also, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye, guys. Oh, I love you guys. Always remember that Jesus loves you more. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye. Mwah.